Alex. It's day one of NAM 2024, and I'm here with my friend Rob from Positive Grid. How you doing today, my friend? Oh, I'm doing good. It's been super busy. We're getting some awesome crowds, and we're showing some great new products. We've got the new Spark Live amplifier right here. It's kind of taken off from the uh, Spark series of amplifiers. So everything that, if you're familiar with Spark amps, we've got awesome amp modeling and effects. But now what you've got is a four channel smart amp like the Spark series, but with a built-in PA system. So you can actually run vocals in there. You can run acoustic guitar, bass, and you can get all your killing crazy guitar sounds with all your effects and amp modeling all out of just one system. Lots of endless possibilities. It's 150 watts, really loud, sounds great. There's some amazing technology that gives it a huge dynamic spread of different sounds that you would not normally get out of just a regular combo amplifier. You know, we're used to just hearing a guitar sound and saying, okay, there's a guitar tone, or let's say you have a, a, you know, a PA, okay, there's a good vocal sound, but now you're actually getting all those different sounds built in through one amplifier. Right, because I was going to ask, hey, there's a lot of uh, PA systems on the market right now. What makes it so different? But it sounds like it is just based on what you're telling me right there. Well, you got access to all the great positive grid spark amp tones and effects, but now you've got the ability to run vocals, get a great clean vocal sound, bass, acoustic guitar. We've got inputs in the back for uh, external audio devices if you want, like keyboards or even run a laptop in there. But it's really everything you want for, let's say you're a solo musician and you need like a PA but you want to get your guitar sounds, you can take it on a gig. It's perfect for that, but it's also loud enough to hold up with a drummer and play in a band. Right, because that was going to be my next question. Like, would you think, and just honest opinion, yeah. is it more of a rehearsal type amp, like in a, a jam session, or can you actually take it out on a gig? No, you can definitely take it out on a gig. It's loud. Gets loud? Like how loud? It's pretty loud. I mean, you could turn it up to about, if you can turn it up to three and everybody starts going, okay, you can turn that down a little bit. It's pretty loud. So I, I can't uh, run it in my apartment past like two and a half, three without people complaining. It also, it pushes a lot of air. It's got a great bass response. You know, the app, uh, opens up so many possibilities to the different sounds that you can get as w from amplifiers and effects. And uh, it's the same app, but we've taken it a few steps further in that you now have control over not just the guitar sounds, but you've got microphone uh, preamps in there as well. You've got different bass presets and acoustic guitar presets, built-in mixer view. And one of the great things about the Spark amps too is that when they came out, it was amazing because you can connect easily via Bluetooth and then you can stream audio through the amplifier as well. So not only are they killer guitar amps, but they're also these amazing kind of hi-fi Bluetooth speakers that you can run audio through in the background. So if you want to practice, jam along with backing music, backing tracks, it's like the ultimate, not only practice tool, but for gigs. The funny thing is the first time I actually played through uh, one of the Spark amps, I played more than I had played in like years. Plugged into the amp, connected, and started jamming with some backing music. And it was like, you know, there you go, you're lost playing for a couple hours. Well, last time I checked, you guys were at like, what, 10,000 tones? How many tones are in, a Spark, in the Spark app right now? There's thousands of tones. We have a, a, a tone cloud that's totally free. So once you uh, register, all you need is like, you know, your email address, you have access to all these different sounds. And from advanced players to beginner players, you know, if you're searching for a particular sound, like if you say, hey, how do I get that early Van Halen sound? You know, you just look up Van Halen, and there's gonna be tons of different options for you to check. Hey, I'm uh, looking for a, a Steve Vai sound or Metallica or whatever your favorite band is, everything is accessible. So it's kind of endless possibilities, but at the same time, it's also very, uh, intuitive and, and easy to use. Definitely, and we have your guitar linked up right now with a Spark Link, right? This is our uh, new wireless that is about to come out. So we're actually uh, just took it out to the show because they're so much fun and uh, they work great. They're just these little transmitters and receivers that you can plug between the amplifier and your guitar and they pair up to themselves uh, via Bluetooth. And they're, uh, very easy to use. There's, there's not, not much to it. You can charge them up and, and go. I have to ask, how far is the range? It's actually up to about 70 feet, which is pretty good, pretty far. You know, I can, basically I was walking up and down here to the concession stand and, uh, you know, with the uh, Sparklink wireless. So 70 feet is about the range. How does it work, like say, if you want to use like a certain effect, like overdrive on your guitar, and then you want to do a completely different effect with your vocals, can you do that on this amp? That's the amazing thing is you can have a totally different sound because in input one, that's your guitar input. 
So everything that you run in there is going to be for your guitar. So let's say you want to take your, you know, whatever pedal you have, like a, let's say it's like a tube scream or some sort of drive. And then you can go into channel one and set your amp model that would normally work well with that type of pedal. Maybe you want to call up, say, like a Fender Twin or maybe a classic Plexi Marshall and then just kind of drive it with your actual drive. That's your input one. In the back there, you have a separate control over your microphone input. And then inside the app as well, that comes up as instrument number two. And it's just completely separated. That is really cool. Yeah, yeah. that was one of the, uh, the most eye-opening things that we all noticed at first. You're like, wow, is that really coming out of that amp that you can get those kind of distorted guitar tones with that kind of clear vocal sound? And it wasn't two separate amplifiers and a PA. So Rob, can you do a little demo for us of some of your favorite tones? Sure, uh, let's start off with uh, kind of like a high gain kind of sound with some uh, delay, lots of fun for jamming on. done, sir. All right, so uh, is there another setting that you want to show us? Yeah, so that was a high gain. So now we'll do maybe more of like a classic kind of a uh, little more cleaner tone. <laughs> great things about the Spark Live is that you can also get a great clean mic sound so you can run a microphone in there and you can get your great overdriven guitar sounds all out of one amplifier. This city tried to go and break me down I swear some days I pray that this town would let me feel for a minute It was really great talking with you. Yeah, it was awesome talking with you, and um, thanks for having us here. You guys at Guitar Center, go out and check out the Spark Live. This amp just totally kicks butt. When can everybody expect to see the Spark Live in Guitar Center? It's coming soon. It's right around the corner. I can't give you an exact definite date. You'll see him soon in the, in the next month or two. Okay. Should be there. Yeah. It's on the way. It's on the way, yeah, definitely on the way. For everybody at home, if you're interested in all of Positive Grid's brand new products, make sure to go to guitarcenter.com or visit your local GC.